Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of the daily collective messages. Like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so, so very much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always and forever going to be loved and appreciated, okay? God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascendant Masters, Cosmic Guides, all things of the highest and purest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please, please, please give my wonderful, fabulous, and amazing Pisces here family the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? Hello, my beautiful lovers. I hope your day is going great, okay? It's pretty early, so my day is as good as it can be at this time, okay? So, um, this is a griffin spirit animal message, okay? So, the note is, your energetic signature is like an ATM card, Okay? I'm here and I'm rich, bitch. Okay. <laughs> so um, it says, I wrote like a key card at a high security facility. Okay. So a high vibe equals high clearance. So the energies of love, grace, and compassion equal gold, baby. And you, and a high vibe, you know, or that golden consciousness, that Christ consciousness, when you are acting in that way, you really do, you really can just like swipe your energetic you know, ATM card where whenever and wherever you really do want to, okay? <laughs> but it's just all about you getting a handle on the energy is what I'm hearing. All about you understanding yourself and the way that you work. But I feel like you are a success, you know? And a year from now, I don't think that your life is even going to look the way that <laughs> you felt like it was going to look, you know? Look at this abundance right here. And she's got this gold pouring out of her out of her like bowl you know out of her thing that she holds and she even looks like a child kind of you know so i hope you're keeping your inner child very happy okay you know doing things that you used to do when you was young because um those types of things really do feed your soul okay i heard chicken soup for the soul i don't know what you know about chicken soup for the soul <laughs> that used to be so good uh what's the overall energy <sighs> that was a lot. I just want one. Let me just get one. Okay, so we got the Banshee, a call between the worlds. And then we got Nightfall at the bottom of the deck with thresholds and beginnings. Okay, you could be coming out of a storm of some sort, you know, or maybe just a moment in your life that looked a little sticky, a little, you know, off or whatever, you know. Maybe you had to call some shit out or whatever, but... I just get this energy that you are in a good mood, okay? <laughs> or you're in a good place, even if you're not in a good mood, you know? But let's see what it says. I seen the puka, okay, or the trickster energy. So this is what I'm saying. You could have went through some sort of recent storm with some sort of puka type of energy, you know, a darker trickster kind of energy who really doesn't care who they trick as long as they get the chance to do some tricking, okay? Somebody also could be a literal trick. <laughs> so it says, the Banshee's cry announces the threshold between the worlds of life and death. Appearing as a wild and haggish woman, the Banshee is a messenger from the other world at the time of death. Coming by night, she shrieks and sobs outside a home or hospital as death draws near. Favoring families with O or Mac in their surnames, Banshees may lend an air of aristocracy to certain Irish families, okay? So it says, some aspect of your life or the life of your community is dying, okay? The Banshee's Call signifies a time when the threshold of the spirit world draws close. As messenger from the other world, she beckons you across a divide, encouraging you to see dying to, dying to certain aspects of this life as thresholds to an expanded vision okay and that's so funny that this nightfall card says thresholds and beginnings okay so um it says what was i at okay so it says to see dying 
to see dying to certain aspects of your life as thresholds to an expanded vision. By fearing death in any aspect of your life, you create needless anxiety. Approaching her generously will bring certainty of the other world and afterlife in general. By looking closely, you will see that death is always near. Life and death, a seamless passage from one to another. Draw your attention to the aspect of your question that seeks death and consider the possibilities that beckon from the other side. In this way, by seeing beyond her fearsome aspect, the Banshee's call will seem reassuring or even hopeful, you know. So, I don't know. Maybe, just like it said, there's certain things, certain situations just dying off out of your life and out of your energy. And this is a very necessary thing, you know. This success that you are achieving when it comes to the energies of death is what's going to have your life looking so different a year from now, you know. I think this death that's coming into your energy is going to like boost you up in some sort of way, you know, like make you more abundant. Like it's going to raise your vibe so much. Okay. <laughs> like, are you ready to hold all of this gold? You know, look, there's something better, you know? So if you were, you know, and then we got recovery. So you're really in recovery at this time, you know, and I get this feeling like maybe you could have been feeling a little bit down on, on yourself or your situation or whatever, you know, and the griffin spirit animal is saying, no, baby, you will always, you know, have that lion energy and those wings, you know, because the griffin is like a lion and an eagle or something like this. Um, so, all right, I'll do it after this. <laughs> They're like, Google, Google the Griffin. Okay, I'm going to Google the Griffin so I can tell you more. But we got the fire and the water when I parked the deck, okay? So definitely you coming back into balance. I think um, maybe you might have stepped away from your passions or whatever, but I think you're stepping in over the threshold into a more fearless type of energy, you know, where you're going to have that fire and that passion for life, but you're going to have a lot more compassion and kindness to go along with it. And this is activating that energetic black card, baby, okay? What's the rest of the overall energy? I seen the shadow. The shadow self, okay? It says denial, projecting, and shame. So big shadow work going on in your life at this time, okay? <laughs> or maybe you just completed some sort of big shadow work. Maybe you faced something within yourself that you just really needed to take that time and face. And that baby, that is about to have you balling out of control okay it says our shadow self is a psychological and spiritual perspective regarding the aspects of ourselves that we often either deny sometimes cannot see and conceal from the public every human being and higher being has a shadow self the problems arise when denial or refusal to see the shadow self takes hold as this causes spiritual fragmentation in the psyche and blocks enlightenment and holistic integration. Okay, so um, he's using uh, Christianity as an example, you know. Um, like, they try to drill all of this good, 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 good. You know, they, they make you... I mean, of course, they use your shadow self to, like, guilt you into doing as much good as they can get you to do. You know what I'm saying? But really, you're meant to integrate those darker parts of your being so that you can really truly be connected to the most high or to the highest version of yourself. It says shadow selves not acknowledged take on an unaware to semi-aware autopilot type of spirit life of their own, usually resulting in projections when triggered. This is where dark entities subconsciously reside and where archons can steer and manipulate. It says, if a person is not conscious, all dark entities are merely abandoned aspects of life. The shadow self typically emerges during early childhood and progressively manifests if not integrated. The shadow self contains anything that we were taught and judged as a small child to see as inappropriate. 
wrong, shameful, or bad, or we were punished or rejected for. It says, what we reject in ourselves is rejected back onto us. These conditions may have been passed onto us through our families, our schools, our communities, our culture, etc. The denial of these aspects we do not like or accept in ourselves forces those archetypal aspects of self to be repressed. It wanders, not fully conscious of the self, projecting and overreacting onto others defiantly what they deny in themselves. So this is what I'm saying. I think you're healing a lot of childhood wounds coming out of that energy where, you know, you were overreacting to things and where you had addictions and where you just really didn't like yourself. I feel like in the past you could have been someone who was um, extremely fragmented for a time, you know, you had a lot of triggers and a lot of shame about, you know, where you came from, maybe how you were raised, you know, um, I feel like also you inherited a lot of more negative traits from your, from your parents, but it was, it's like you inherited the karma, you know, but it was all because spirit knew that you had the energy and the power to heal those things you know so like now you're in this place where you're becoming whole where you're integrating a lot more of your shadow and becoming much more aware of yourself and of your power so that's why they're saying you know you're in recovery it says um, a basic example of this could be if you angrily overreact towards another who is sincerely sad it is highly probable you have denied and repress your own sadness. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says, facing and owning our shadow self aspects can be challenging, even painfully so initially, and requires self-awareness, humility, and accountability, while also forgiving ourselves. Shadow work is the true test of self-love. True core healing always contains contains huge elements of shadow work, you know, and this is the facts, okay, spirit, and I love me some shadow work, you know, because I really genuinely made me feel better, like, shadow work literally changed my entire life, that is the first thing that I learned how to do with the cards, you know, so I think that's why the way that I read is a lot different sometimes <laughs> because I have tried out a lot of different ways with these cards to heal and fix my own self, my own habits, my own issues, and my own things that I needed to integrate for myself. So if you are thinking about getting into the cards, that's absolutely the best place to start. Start with shadow work. You know what I'm saying? Start with reading yourself. Start with reading people who are willing to be read around you. But don't, baby, don't be surprised if they don't want to get read. <laughs> Usually when you jump into this, you got to deal with, <laughs> with a bunch of people around you who want you to be convinced that you're not psychic, you know. So just be careful who you're sharing your energy with at this time because you are in recovery, like uh, he was saying. And it can be like you just never know. I feel like you could have some people trying to like trigger you a little bit, you know. And I think that's why the Banshee call, too, because like this change and all of this integration could have seemed like such a painful thing, you know, like where you could let out a banshee scream. Hey, <laughs> let's look at the griffin, like I said. <sighs> so it says the griffin or griffin, just spelled two different ways, is a mythological creature with the body, hind legs, and tail of a lion, and the wings, front talons, and head of an eagle, okay? It says they are considered to be symbolic of power, wealth, courage, and prestige, baby, <laughs> okay? So I think that you're coming to this place where you're tapping into this, like you've done the shadow work and you're ready to, you know, answer that call between worlds or, you know, make that step over into like beyond the veil is what I'm hearing. And that's awesome. It's so fun. Watch. <laughs> Things are about to pick up for you. I really, 
feel a good energy off of this, okay? Yeah, it says yes <laughs> with an exclamation point, okay? We got the situation will improve. Um, I think you need to be a little bit more light and free at this time, you know? Also, this is giving me this because she's like deep in the water, you know? I think you spent quite a bit of time like in your emotions where it was just crazy and it was like they're giving me stormy water type of energy you know like you really are coming out of this rough time where you were just like getting tossed around by the waves and now you're starting to like enjoy swimming with the dolphins and things and that's great you know spirits asking you to have much trust at this time okay within the next few months you're gonna see a lot more peaceful resolutions coming into your energy and know that your meditation really truly is powerful okay it really does bring the answers that you need when you need them you know so make sure that you're taking advantage of that as much as you can and ask your angels for any help any assistance with healing and you know reframing the mind and all of these different things they're saying make sure that you get a lot of information also you know really do some studying and some learning about this journey about yourself you know look into every little sign and every little number okay like you don't have to but that's this is how i did it okay <laughs> i just once i really got the hang of it I just started doing everything that spirit said, you know, once I could really hear them and I was really tapped in with them, I followed every single direction and it did not lead me wrong yet. You know, it says take action. OK, and it's saying when you when you start taking action, don't stop taking action, you know, and just make sure you're operating out of this energy of forgiveness and not holding it against anyone. You know, if they own some fuckery, OK, just try to remain as positive as possible. And if you're having a hard time doing that meditation, 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 OK, it really does help. It really does change everything that's going on. OK, look, judgment. At the bottom of this deck, we got illusion. At the bottom of the next deck, what is this under here? And catching, okay? So I feel like you've just been, like, tucking away. <laughs> I feel like you've been tucking away things for a rainy day. I don't know. Maybe you're big on, like, saving money, budgeting things. Um, and that really is a good thing for you, okay? I think that's going to pay off with time. I think you're going to find something to invest in that's going to have all of your wishes coming true okay even if the, the investment is just yourself okay look yourself look at this with the nine of pentacles so like really stepping into everything that makes you independently wealthy you know like i think really getting more comfortable in your own skin now that you're getting rid of all of these different shadow energies and really starting to see who you are underneath all of that underneath all of the mass and titles that have been placed on you along this life and that looks great okay what's yes uh, excuse me the king of pentacles okay so that's how you looking <laughs> i think you're about to get ready to make some boss moves you know but not just any old type of boss moves i feel like you're the type that's very calculated very meticulous and very like planny planny when it comes to the things that you do you really don't do anything you know just jump into anything head first and that's really smart but the griffin's also saying just um leave a little bit of room for the magic you know <laughs> there's always room for some magic to come in <laughs> with the beautiful things that you're putting all of your energy into you know that's one of the things that makes the co-creation so amazing and so wonderful for everyone involved in with you you know what's the situation will improve the temperance okay so when it comes, when they say the situation will improve, they don't just mean on the outside of you. They mean within you, you're coming to a more tempered place, having more of an understanding of not only how you tick, but how the people around you tick and why they move in like that. And, you know, it makes it so much easier to forgive people when you get to that place, when you really understand like the real true motives, when you're really following your own psychic nudges and things and you're like mm, spirit <laughs> like, i can't believe you just said that but this is what it is spirit don't tell you no lies baby what's trust okay the seven of wands and the death card so they're saying trust this 
trust this death that you're experiencing and know that we're really standing your ground through this entire thing, you know. So if you do find yourself, you know, wanting to be a little bit vulnerable, wanting to express yourself, it's okay. As long as you're not doing it with somebody that they already had you separate yourself from, you know. What's within the next few months? Okay, the King of Wands, okay. So within the next few months, I feel like you're going to be making some major moves. Like, the King of Wands always gives me this leader energy. And then it has more of that lion energy behind it, you know. So, it's and then it has a lizard too on here. So, you're very good at going through these transformations but it's because you you lead with God you know like you allow God to lead you down this road this is what you have been doing thus far I feel like that could have been something that was really hard for you to like get a hang of you know because <laughs> it really is truly something that you do know how to do on a soul level but once you get done you know collecting all of these damn shadows and things that you have to get out of you it can be a little bit harder to like, you know, see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. And I think that you're really stepping into your leadership quality, stepping into all of the beautiful power that's going to have you, you know, out here <laughs> swiping this left and right, you know, with that beautiful energetic ATM card that is you. What's a peaceful resolution? The six of wands. Okay. So you also could be receiving some sort of public recognition, which a lot of people got their eyes on with this page of swords. But also I feel like you're looking much more peaceful. Like people are recognizing this new peaceful energy that you're coming into. And it, honestly, they just want to spy on you. Like they want to know what is your secret. But I think a lot of them are still very stuck in their shadow selves, still doing a lot of projecting, still in denial that they even have any issues that they could ever bring to God. So um, don't focus on that, you know, let them watch. Because <laughs> what are they going to do? Nothing. They can't do shit to you, baby. Just let them, you know, be stalking and chicken hawking. <laughs> Bob, Bob, what's a, what's a ask your angels? <laughs> the two of cups so when it comes to you like maintaining this emotional balance and in exchanging energy with other people like know that there is much healing coming to that you could even be getting like a really big throat chakra upgrade that's what i'm getting from this two of cups because when your throat chakra is like out of balance or out of whack you know you run into a lot of people who really don't understand where you're coming from. They don't understand what you're saying. You know, you have that feeling like, how come y'all don't know what I'm saying or don't know what I mean? You know, like you even be like in your ego a little bit, you know, so you'd be like, awesome. I said what I said type shit. But really, when you start to heal your throat chakra, you realize that you really weren't communicating to your best. And I think that's something that you could be working on. You know, I think that's something that spirit called out in you. And that you were very accepting of. Just know that your angels are helping you with all of this healing. What else do they need to ask their angels about? Strength, okay? So asking them for a little bit of strength, you know. Asking them to kind of show you your strengths. You get a lot from your birth chart, okay? Like people kind of shit on astrology. Like it doesn't matter or it's not important. But we are micro to the macro baby we are a direct reflection of the universe and that's why astrology is so effective and it's also very accurate and it's one of the oldest sciences <laughs> in the world okay so it is very accurate and a huge tool in figuring out the different parts of you and why you act the way you act you know you hear just your sun sign for most of your life and you think oh you know i'm just like so pisces or i'm so you know uh cancer or whatever but it's just not that you're just a lot of different signs with a lot of different planetary energies and their specific placements within you are very different and they tell you a lot of different parts about yourself that you never would have known you'll find that you actually operate out of some whole other signs energy more than you do the the, <laughs> the energy of your sun sign you know 
So, because though I'm a Pisces, I actually carry more Leo and Libra traits in my birth chart. Those are highly aspected, you know. So that definitely affects my personality, you know. And then the Pisces with the Libra <laughs> makes me so emotional. That's why I'm a crybaby, you know. But I, this these types of things just really didn't make sense to me till I got 33, okay, <laughs> and learned all of this different stuff about myself, you know. And I feel like you're just there, and your angels really like that, and they're really encouraging that, and they're just saying this is bringing in so much more strength. So like, keep it right there, type shit. There's another one. What else? Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. Also, your angels are trying to make you more aware of, like, the most important traits and characteristics that you carry, you know? Trying to make you aware of the way that you're supposed to touch the world, you know? Trying to remind you of your strength and that you are really, truly, at the end of the day, an expert at exchanging energy. And you <laughs> are an expert at figuring out who you are and then going and helping the collective because you've done it over and over again in past lives, okay? Let's get more information. The Knight of Cups, but it kind of fell out like kind of in reverse. So I think when it comes to people offering you love, you know, because this is the Knight of Cups, that you need to be a little bit more investigative of them, you know, like find out as much as you can about them. Maybe you could be someone, you know, who feels like, you know, oh, there's no problem. We got the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> and then the Ten of Cups under that, I feel like this is what your ancestors are saying. Okay, your ancestors are saying that you need more information when it comes to dating, when it comes to your love life. Because I feel like you have a really great energy about you and it matters who you exchange that energy with, you know. If you're quick to exchange that energy, you exchanging this energy with this person that you really don't know that much about and that person is just sucking you dry, okay. You like, you looking like a Twinkie or something or you looking like a popsicle, okay. We got the five of swords. So I think you need to make sure that if somebody is coming in to offer you some sort of offer love, some sort of offer of love, or even when you're offering different types of love to yourself, that you're upholding the certain ways of thinking that you have dropped out of your life, you know, like to make sure that you don't like slip backwards or go back into old behaviors that you're trying to move away from, you know? Yeah, we got the eight of swords because, you know, I feel like... You might feel like <laughs> after these, you know, relationships or these um, certain loving situations that you jump into and try to have this passionate movement forward that in the end, you always end up with some sort of manipulator with this king of swords and this two of pentacles. You always end up with someone who's trying to manipulate you and you always end up juggling what they want and what you want, you know, so you're going to have to embrace your star energy in order to make this passionate movement forward. And I'm not only talking about in your careers, you know, they're talking, the Griffin is talking about choosing yourself a lot more, like taking the time to just choose yourself right now. You know, that's going to be very important over these next couple of months, too. <sighs> what else? What's yes and uh, the King of Pentacles? Trickery. <laughs> So, you know, I think there's people in the background, like I was saying at the beginning, you know, like they don't want you to cross this threshold. They're kind of just watching you, but there's nothing they can really do. You know, I feel like you're just really focused, focus on your work, you know, and like I said, you like to put things away for later and he's hiding his stuff and covering it up. And that person is watching everything that he's doing, you know. So just be careful about like who you share your moves with also. Look, mischief at the bottom of the deck. Come on. <laughs> but I think you have just had to deal with a lot of trickery and mischievous behaviors from others, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me, but also the Griffin is saying that's because you showed a lot of resistance because you were in survival mode and a lot of the moves that you were making for a while were based out of off of your fears, you know. So when it comes to having this trust and standing your ground and allowing those fears and things to die, that's going to be the best thing for you. Let me see what else. 
play, okay? <laughs> play. So, like, don't be afraid to, like, enjoy it. Like, I know that, like, in the beginning, you're going through all of this shadow work and you're going through the dark night of the soul and you have all of these different heavy emotions going on within you you know but after a while you have to allow it to lighten up like if you take the journey too seriously then it's easy for you to get stuck right there in your head or stuck right there where you are you know you don't get to the place where you eventually get to empty out that void and start to fill that void with light you know so try to f have, find time for enjoyment in there. Like you got to put some fun in there, baby. Like answering the call can be a good thing. It can be an exciting thing. It doesn't have to be so serious. I'm hearing life is what you what you make it, okay? <laughs> What's up uh, within the next few months and uh, the King of Wands? Teamwork, okay? So maybe within the next few months, you know, you're going to be working a lot more closely with spirit. Like, I think they're really just preparing you, really showing you how to fly and how to have fun with it. Because it takes a little bit of time for us to, that's why it said you're in recovery. You know, it takes a little bit of time after doing all of this shadow work for us to actually feel the difference, you know. Sometimes you do have that initial like, oh, you know, that's a big weight off my shoulders type of feeling. But it can be a bit of a roller coaster at the beginning, you know. And even now, <laughs> even, you know, when you're in a, in a much higher energy, you know, you just have to, it's all about spirit teaching you how to like roll with the punch how to stand in your strength and in your individuality even through the most treacherous or tumultuous of times you know and to do it in a way where you're peaceful where you're still at operating out of the energies of love grace and compassion where you're still collecting that gold and operating on a high vibe and getting whatever it is that you want realizing that you're waterproof and also, this is going under peaceful resolution, the Six of Wands and the Page of Swords. So people really are seeing just how things roll off of your back, you know. We got influence, okay. So I feel like these could definitely be people that are trying to influence you in some way, you know. But you're being protected from energies that wish to see you in an energy of displacement or that wish to, like, scavenge whatever it is that is yours, baby. So sore. Like it ain't nothing and know that spirit is fighting all your battles, okay? And they win it. <laughs> um, what was this one? Oh, ask your angels. What's ask your angels? The strength card, the nine of pentacles, and the two of cups. Commitment, okay? So there's also this energy of like... Maybe you feel like you made an empty commitment or something, you know, but I just think you're just barely stepping into more of your fertile energies and you just need to be a little bit more patient because there's nothing in this nest. You know, the nest is empty, but these two seem to be like working together. This is giving me, you know, you in spirit, like you're still pregnant with the with the baby. OK, <laughs> You haven't even put the baby in the in the in the nest yet. You know, there is not even like the egg is not quite there yet. OK, <laughs> so just give yourself time to like to step more into the fertile energies to allow spirit to teach you how to sustain the energy so that it's not something that goes away very quickly. Spirit teaches you slow and steady because they want you to win the fucking race. They don't want you to be, you know, tripping <laughs> right before the finish line type shit. Okay. Let's get more information. Um, the Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords. ghosts so ooh, this could very well be um ghosts of the past that want to <laughs> okay so i said i was talking about uh not going back to certain ways that of thinking that you may have dropped but they are totally talking about people you know people whose truths don't match yours because for the two swords that are dropped is two people that's walking away you know 
So also don't fall for these types of love offers. You know, they're saying like, we gave you the insight for a reason. You was going through very heavy spiritual battle with the battles with these people. And we needed to free you up so that you can soar. So soar <laughs> the way that we want you to do and know that everything that is for you and everything, you know, every person and every situation that God wants you to experience is going to just be dropped in your life placed in your life perfectly, even if you be avoiding the opportunity, you know, it's always going to be made very easy for you. Like this is how, you know, when God's hand is in it, it's so effortless and smooth. And I love that. we got financial constraints, you know, like you could be feeling like you don't have money or in some sort of energy of scarcity, you know, like, like I said, you're the type of person who likes to save, who likes to have everything planned. And I think right now you could just be like barely making ends meet, you know, but within the next few months, this is going to improve. There was just a lot of energy that you needed to break through. You needed to step through the door to personal healing and happiness before you could receive the victory. Spirit needed to make sure you was going to stay on the temple path to success where they were trying to lead you to. And, and very soon you will be the man or the woman that's holding the coin. But first, we had to get you clear of this deceit and the deceitful people that were around you, <laughs> you know, constantly thinking and planning and plotting on how they was going to get your finances. You didn't even fucking get yet. <laughs> yeah, look, Archangel Raphael stayed on the table when I uh, when I picked up the deck. So much healing energy happening in your life. Archangel Raphael is working very closely with you, you know, so just ignore the nonsense that's going on in the community around you. OK. Fifth chakra with Archangel Gabriel. That's what I was talking about. That throat chakra energy. Look at this. <laughs> Archangel Uriel with um, the seventh chakra or the crown chakra. So big upgrades coming into your life. But you never would have received them if you were still all tied up. And that's why the storm you just went through recently was necessary in order for them to get you to walk away. Look, you're also getting a boost to your confidence to your solar plexus chakra at this time. So many angels in your life, okay? Ask any one of these angels and or all of them to come in and help you. We got Chamiel, Uriel, Gabriel, and Raphael, okay? They're showing up for you, baby. <laughs> I heard, and I always will. That's on a song. I don't know what song it is. So it says, the car shows an old-fashioned shave. An uh, old-fashioned shave, eh? It shows an old-fashioned safe. With little money, but lots of cobwebs and dust. Money may be tight at this time. So rein in your spending and be circumspect about the financial requirements in your life. This is not a time of indulgence. So be aware of what's really important and consciously choose your expenditures. There's a big difference between what you need and what you want. This card is telling you to take care of your needs and bide your time. Things will get better, but for now, be willing to live more conservatively and always value the money and the good things you already have. So there's an energy of that too, you know, maybe showing much more gratitude to the divine, you know. <laughs> I used to think that I was like, saying thank you to God a lot, but I just really wasn't, you know, I really wasn't acknowledging everything that I do have the opportunity to be blessed with, everything that I actually am surrounded by, you know, even when things are shitty, I'm giving it up now, okay? So make sure that you're always giving it up, always showing that gratitude, always thanking God for working it out long before he works it out because he already been and worked it out. So the affirmation says, I can move through any cycle with dignity and awareness. I am open to receiving increasing wealth. Money moves to and through my life and brings benefits to all. Okay. 
So money is in the process of moving to and through your life, baby. So keep up the good work. You know, you're doing great. You're crossing thresholds, having new beginnings and really doing a great job of answering that call. Even if you're, you know, you feel like very clumsy about it. You can feel like you're tumbling, <laughs> like, you know, some sort of tumbleweed just, you know, in the wind, not even in control of where it is that you're going. But really, you're being led by, you know, the wind okay by by the right thoughts and actions you know and it's like if you think about tumbleweed you know it'll tumble and tumble and tumble for long periods of time and then it might get stuck on something it might get stuck on a little branch and be there for a long time until a gust of wind strong enough comes and knocks that tumbleweed out of its stuck spot and it's moving again and again and again for a long time or maybe for it's gonna get stuck right on something right after that you know it's like you just never know. And the tumbleweed is surrendered, has surrendered to the wind. So I don't think that the tumbleweed is unhappy with the way it's tumbling. <laughs> and uh, this is the kind of like, you know, of course, you're the tumbleweed in this situation. Surrender to the wind and allow God to blow you into the right situations and opportunities. OK. And you will see this this ATM gold type of energy increase in your life. And also you can feel the raising of your own vibe. And I think that's really coming to you in a big way within these next couple of months. So just keep doing what you're doing, baby. You're doing so great. And, you know, your guides are ever proud of you all the time. They always going to tell you that they, we're proud of you. We love you. Keep it going. We're here for you. And with that, I'm done. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. And that you got something that you needed out of this. And I will see you later. Bye.